Hey guys, just making a video here. I want to show you what I've been working on. So I was getting a little upset with lack of organization on everything. So I've been kind of putting this all together. So I'm going to run this down for you guys really quick. So I took off my pressure washing hose there. That's kind of over here. And I put the tucker reel here. So the whole point of this is to try to just pull up the work, pull this out. And you see how I have my carbon filter here connecting from my hose. This thing right here, this little container, that's where I put this G0 hose because it's a light duty hose. It's not to say like this one here, which is more for pressure washing and stuff like that. So anyway, my goal is I'm gonna mount this to here with the bracket that comes with it. Um, and this is gonna be my final rinse with DI. And that's about it guys. My main thing is everything's gonna be stored on this side. And um, as you can see here, I have, I know you guys think I don't have DI tanks, but I've had this forever. This is a 3 fourths cubic foot one right here. And I'm going to keep this on the side and store it here and secure it kind of like that. And in case I ever run into a job where I can't use all this, well guys, all I got to do is pick this up and get rolling. And as you can see, the RO filter is in here nice. It's not going anywhere. And uh, that's it. Just want to show you guys something. All right. So anyway, I got the water turned on here and um, I have about 75 feet of the 3 fourths inch hose right here. So that's good. Um, obviously just connect to my house here. And the main thing, the difference is guys, everything's on the truck now. So if I ever need, I got a 150 foot of 3 eighths inch hose and that's running into my um, viper hose which is another 70 feet and uh, in case people are wondering oh how do you flow look at that flow out of this thing guys it's insane it's very good pressure as, as i've always been telling you guys the key is getting this hose here but um yeah so you can see what i'm kind of working out with and um the good thing is see my wastewater is right over here which i'm eventually going to get something to just run it maybe an extra 10 feet down there just because, uh, well, let's just be honest. Nobody's gonna wanna see all that, so I wanna direct this out. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So when I'm done with this hose, everything goes back in here nice and neat, and you're off to the races, boys. So anyway, that's all I've been working on, getting ready for season, I'm getting excited. So this is great. This is gonna really be a lot more efficient Just so people know, that's about my starting water. You're at about 308, okay? And this, and I don't know if you can see this, but that's what it comes out at, 32. So it's literally almost removing about 300 TDS or 270 TDS. So, that being said, the whole point of all this is that people will sit there, and again, I'm not going to get in arguments with anybody, but, you know, I see 36 there, 32, anything under 50, I don't have any issues with spotting, so, you know, possibly you might. So, again, that's also why I'm saying if you're a little bit uneasy, add a little DI tank, because the thing is, at 30 TDS, you're going to get possibly a thousand, if not more, gallons of pure water when you run it through a DI. I don't have to do that. I mean, I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of people that don't agree with me, and but that's okay. I'm just telling you from my area in Florida, I don't need to use that. So anyway, just kind of showing you guys what I've been working on here and uh, work in progress. I'll probably finish this up tomorrow. And the sweet thing about all this is I have all this room for all my traditional tools and uh, things like this. I'm gonna put my water fed poles hanging onto here so you got them on dual sides and then obviously my ladders for everything else so anyway just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on uh, what i've been doing and um that's it and in case people are wondering 
why I'm making a video today. Got a good amount of rain coming in. So I'm getting everything ready for season now. This is what I'm talking about. So everything's put back up. Very simple to use. I've got 70 feet of the Viper hose, quarter inch. I got 150 of the 5 16 the regular standard hose. You know, and that's good too. You see what I'm saying? My hose is stored in here in a nice bucket. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill out something at the bottom just so this doesn't, you know, look like that. And then here's gonna be my final DI polish, the little 10 inch by four and a half inch big blue tank. I'm gonna put a deionizing filter in there just to get it down. And then we have all the room here, all my chemicals, anything you could need is back here. I'm gonna get a lid for this to keep this dry. I don't like any chemicals in the back of the truck. It's bad for you, don't do it. And then obviously spare bucket for when I clean windows. And uh, you know, got a six foot step ladder, four foot step ladder my water fed poles which that's what I'm saying is I'm trying to show you what I want to do here is excuse my uh, weird camera work here bear with me is I'm gonna strap them on just like here okay so and I'm gonna put some bungees something secure it I've driven like this before with uh, little bungees and no problem but look at that guys like you're pulling up here you got everything you're using what you can with what you have so both ends here, um, my step ladders, all of my tools I could ever need, a spare water fed pole, a stick, and the best thing is I still have all up here to put my sectional ladders and obviously I have some other stuff here that I haven't been messing around with. Um, and the pressure washing stuff, the sweet thing about having this set up this way is if I ever come at a job where I need to use my pressure washer, I, don't, I didn't like it keeping it in the truck at all times. So the best thing is I can take this, put this above here, and this entire right side of the bed is free, guys. So that helps out a lot. Um, so yeah, that's all that I've been up to. I'm just trying to get ready for season and uh, just trying some new things. I really think a lot of this is gonna make things a lot easier for me. The main goal is to be more efficient. You just pull up to a job now, you know, you're pulling up to a job, guys. You connect this hose here to your outlet. It runs through the RO filter on the side, runs through this, 150 feet of this, and another possibly 150 feet of the uh, water-fed pole hose. And guys, you're getting up to 300 feet. Now, the main thing is, you can say, well, maybe 300 feet's not enough. You're absolutely right. Sometimes it isn't. The beauty of all this is... This comes out in about two minutes and all I have to do is remove my carbon filter. I'm going to put a shoulder strap on here and if I ever have to be mobile, I can just take this out of the truck in two minutes. Or if I want to, I can use my DI tank for, you know, for anything that comes near, put that on my trolley, put that in the corner or put it right here and uh, we're in business guys. So anyway. Just wanted to come go over a video. I'm just getting myself ready for season. It's gonna be a long seven months and I'm ready for it this time. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys take it easy.